guys. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Zoe. And I'm Beth. And you're watching Life with, Life with Z. And so we've been running errands all day. Uh, and we're in Germantown. And we just noticed that the Germantown White, White House, House is open, which it's never open. So we're going to go run in here real quick and show them. Should we show them? Yeah. All right, come on. I have a Jurassic shirt on. Going inside here. So he lived here twice. First time in 1793 when he was trying to escape from the yellow fever because the air here in Germantown, which is about six miles from Philadelphia, was pure and healthy, they said. Then the next summer, he returned with his family who had now joined him from Mount Vernon and came to Philadelphia. Come on, let's see where George Washington lives. So this was George Washington's summer home in historic Germantown of Philadelphia. This is the backyard. And we have never been in here. Every time we've come by to see about it, it's always closed. So we're going to go in. Is it open, Zoe? Yeah. Here we go. Hello. How are you? Good. Oh, yeah, that's how yeah, some books. Oh, look, some books in the There's answer pages. Doesn't it look like the book right there has pages? Yeah, it does. Really? Yeah. Well, There's some dollars over here. I want to do dollars. You want a dollars like this? All right, we'll have to look at it when they're done. Two by two by two. So look. Look at the little baby in the uh, back. It's a dog's in right yeah. next to it. Yeah. Look at the living room. Yeah, that is cool. That is a cool dog house. Well, it is. Look at the chandelier. The chandelier. Look at the books, right? Aren't they amazing? Queen Elizabeth's grandmother, Queen Mary, had a beautiful Uh huh. Look at the kitchen. You see the stove? So this was the kids' room. This was the kids' room. Imagine they probably spent hours sitting here on this little chair and playing. And they see the little bed in the back. It's like a sleigh bed. Look at that. That's nice. Wow. Cool. And this would have been their desk. Look, Cizo, back then, remember the feathers? Remember Fourth of July we went down and they showed the feathers? Look, and they kept all the ledger book. Pretty cool to be walking on the uh, same flooring George Washington once lived here. Wait, let's go in here, Zoe. And this was his office. He met with them. This is where George Washington would have answered the letters, done his, you know, any kind of correspondence he had. And this desk is really quite beautiful. It's uh, called a secretary. Oh, okay. For obvious reasons. And it's got what I would call pigeonholes, which is where that came from. You ever hear about pigeonholing something? Like putting it away for later or something like that? All those things, you know, little, all those compartments that you could file some of your correspondence or things in there. And, uh, and, the, and the wax for the letters that you would seal your letter with hot wax and then put that little stamp on it mm -hmm. that presses it and yeah. it dries. So that's what they did, and they used the quilt pens. All right, guys, this is George Washington's bedroom. George and Martha, right? Yeah. Look how fancy that bed is from back then, see? This bed is a facsimile of the one at Mount Vernon. Uh, you know, he died in that one, and then uh, she moved upstairs after he died. She didn't stay in that bedroom. She didn't, didn't want to stay in the same room in the same bed that he died in, so she moved herself upstairs. And this has a key, a key lock. That's how they un, That's how they took it apart, right? You see the key. What's that? that you see the key lock right there. Actually, he was very tall. He was like six three and a half. 
which was a tool for that time. Yeah. So he really wouldn't have fit well yeah. in, the in that. The in there. <laughs> but the beds were all pit removed were that size. So we found out that it wasn't that you just, you know, you, your feet just stuck out of the bottom. People used to sleep propped up. Really? Yeah. Oh, propped yeah. up? Oh, that's and interesting. Just, like, not flat. They wouldn't lie down flat. They would be propped up. Like, you know, you huh. see people that have, like, a GERD or something that they have to prop themselves mm -hmm. up. Or if you've ever been sick with a really bad yeah. respiratory, you prop yourself up. That's how they slept normally. So this would have been a summer home for them. It was for business and to get rid of disease the second time. It was, for it was to escape the yellow fever the second time. It was just closer to the family, and they all came here for the couple months in the summer. This was Nellie's room, the granddaughter. And they didn't have any children themselves. It was, they were her children from a prior marriage. Prior marriage? Yeah. From how, many prior did they, marriage. how many from that marriage? Do you know? Hmm? Do you know how many children? He had, she had four, yeah, four, and I know two right. died. They had four. Before children. she married George Washington. Yep. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So this is where Nellie would have slept. And then all the servants that they had or the slaves that they had slept on the mattress but there they but it they out. would pull it out right i'm walking on the floors with george washington all right let's follow you all right one you just stepped out from was built in 1772. 1772, wow. So you can see that this kitchen was very active. When David Desher, this was a summer cottage for him, just this section, mm -hmm. two above. So then when Hercules was here... He oh, that was his name, Hercules? His name was Hercules, he was called that. And I heard from something else that he was called Father... Father Harkness or something else, but oh, just the members of the family. So they would never, they wouldn't eat in here. They would just prepare food here, they and then food there, and the family, and then, would and then the family would serve them in the living room. Okay. Yes. They oh, so they would the, cook the there. The servants and the people who worked here, the yeah. people who worked here, mm -hmm. would have been very, very busy, and this would, be, because there was at least twenty-two to twenty-five people that have to be served food every day in this household. Wow. The people who worked here and the people who lived here. Mm -hmm. It was Washington, Martha, her two grandchildren, her secretary, who was her cousin, and the guy that was the, um, the tutor, he was here. There was a, and the people who worked on the, the people that were in the stable, all these people had to be fed. Their wash had to be done, everything. This is like a little town all by itself. Wow, so 25 look, people, yeah. This is a recreation of food. Mm -hmm. And uh, someone walk in here and have There was a woman who was an artist, I don't have her name now, but she made all this food. What does it look like? It's almost like you're going to pull teeth with it, doesn't it? Yeah, what is it? It is to crack the sugar cone. Oh, right. Yeah, the sugar cone, what happened was granulated sugar wasn't invented yet. Right. So when sugar was put into wooden molds, they're called pylons or pylons of sugar. You know what brown sugar is when it gets rock hard? Mm -hmm. Well, that's how sugar was shipped. It was wrapped up in paper if you're cut out of the mold. Mm -hmm. And then they used that to crack it. And then they used a grater to grate the sugar and make it palatable. Really? Interesting. After the servants cooked the food, they would bring it in here for the family to eat. Yeah, and they'd serve President Washington and Martha and her grandkids, right? Yeah. So there's also a visitor center connected to... Uh, this home. Let's see, where'd Zoe go?
all these people who helped keep the Germantown White House, cooked, fed, clothed. They had cooks, maids, butlers, stable boys, washerwomen, free wage earners, indentured servants, enslaved Africans, all to keep this house and this family organized. Here's a um, sketch of the summer. Summer White House. In what year is that? In um, 1842. All right. And then what year is this one? There's a postcard of it. What this year is, is that? This is in 1904. This one's in 1842. And this one's in 1916. 19, so you see the house changed over the years, right? 18, wait, 1889. And now nobody lives here, but it's all part of the history of Germantown, of Philadelphia. Do they work? Push the button. It tells you about the attack. When the British, when they, you know how they fought down the street at the Battle of Germantown? And they fought for independence with the Revolutionary War. Yep, and all of the armies that clashed in Germantown, right? And General Washington, they had 12,000 soldiers that marched all night here, and there was an eight-day stay when they fought the British. It's amazing, all this history was here, all on the same street. That house was amazing. So it was the it was the oldest exec, executive ex, executive house in the country, in all of the world. It was country. it was in all of the countries. All right, so we are here at uh, George Washington's summer home, and he stayed here twice. And so, what did you what do you think? So, what do you think of it? I like the summer house. Yeah, it's actually very big inside, and it's never open. They said, what, it's not going to open again until next year. next year. So it's a super special so, treat and unexpected that we even were able to come in today, right? Even every every year they close at 5. They close at 5, but they're not open that much, right? So anyway, super excited that we got to see this, and hopefully you saw some interesting things. Um, and... This was a quick, unexpected adventure this week, so hope you enjoyed Yay. it. And remember, life is life an adventure. Is adventure. Dare it. Life, life is, is a beauty. beauty. Praise it. Life, life is, is a game. game. Play, Play it. it. All Bye, right. Guys. Bye, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye.